Over the past few weeks, Ray and Mandy have showed you some of their favorite ways to catch big bass. On tonight's Fishing Tips, they show you their favorite ways to catch everyone's favorite fish, the walleye. This evening we're going to talk about walleye fishing because walleye is Minnesota state fish. It's probably one of the most popular fish that people like to eat. And it's also one of the more challenging fish to catch in midsummer. Easier to catch in the spring, easier to catch in the fall. But midsummer, it gets a little tougher to find those fish. So I'm going to sh show you two of the basic techniques that we use for walleye fishing, and Mandy will show you the other two. Uh, first of all, probably the most common, most popular fishing technique is just a plain jig. And I would say the deeper the water, the heavier the jig, the lighter the water, the lighter the jig. And and depending on the lake you're on, whether it's a crystal clear lake or if it's a stained lake, that has a lot to do with the color. White is always a good color because the walleyes are always after shiners. So a white with a shiner or with a leech is a very good color. It's the most common technique for fishing in Minnesota, I would say, is a jig. Another very common technique is what we call a lindy rig. And a lindy rig is simply taking a swivel and tying on a snell, which can be anywhere from 2 feet to 12 feet. I like to run long snells in the summertime. That allows your bait to get up off the bottom quite a bit when you're drifting or trolling. And so I've got a slip sinker. It's a little challenging here on the camera. But there's a slip sinker right there with a, oh, I got about a three and a half, four foot snell here and a small hook. And <clears throat> this is used for hooking minnows or leeches or night crawlers. And in midsummer, my favorite technique is night crawlers and leeches. Mandy's going to share a couple more common techniques for walleyes. This is one of my favorite ones, the spinner harness. So they come in different sizes, different lakes, different colors. Some have bigger blades, some have smaller blades on them. Uh, this one particularly in, uh, has three hooks. Some come with two, some come with three. You can set them up to, uh, there again, pull leeches. They can pull crawlers. You can pull live bait minnows behind them. Uh, there it has a three, four foot snow on it. Your decision on that and then a weight on the top. Um, this is really good pretty much at any depth. I like trolling these right outside of the weed edge lines. The next one here is an X-Wrap crankbait. Um, you can troll these. I like to cast these personally. They've got a little bit of an action to them. You can walk them side to side. Um, you can run them there again, different depths, uh, different sizes, different colors. This is a great color, by the way. And you can catch multiple species on them from anywhere from bass, walleye, obviously, and even pike. Well, those are some uh, four basic things that most people fish when they're fishing for walleyes. I'm Ray Gildow with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Andy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.